What's up everybody, I'm Akeem Lawanson and you're about to get hit with your daily fix of entertainment. Today we'll find out why two DC films got the X, plus we just got some landmark updates on The Witcher and The Last of Us TV shows. Let's drop it. Bad news, DC fans. Both Ava DuVernay's New Gods movie featuring Jack Kirby's Fourth World characters and James Wan's Aquaman horror spinoff, The Trench, have been axed by Warner Brothers. Now, the news comes from an in-depth report by The Hollywood Reporter that also sheds light on Warner's strategy with DC films going forward. But after taking it all in, that strategy doesn't make a lick of sense to me. Weasel, no, bad weasel, come on, we just got that cleaned. Now, what's confusing about all of this is WB's reasoning for canceling these two DC projects. The studio seems to be operating under two contradicting philosophies. On one hand, during last year's DC fandom, they said they're going to tell the best stories they can regardless of continuity. Yet in the THR report, one of the reasons they shelved New Gods is because they don't want to use Darkseid so soon after he just appeared in the Snyder Cut of Justice League. Y y y'all do realize y'all have like three Batmans in play right now, right? Right? Come on out. It's, it's just strange to hear that Dark Side was a factor in their decision, especially when Warner Media Studio CEO Ann Sarnoff told Variety last week that the Snyder Cut was a one-time deal with no sequels coming. So you would think that free up Dark Side's dance card. And on the other hand, Warners is reportedly killing movies specifically because they don't tie into the DCEU. According to THR, the Trench movie was canceled because it's a standalone feature rather than a story with lots of connective tissue to Aquaman and the greater DCEU. But didn't DC just win some Oscars thanks to an out of continuity Joker movie? Did I imagine that? It did happen, right? It did. And Matt Reeves' upcoming movie, The Batman, takes place in an alternate universe on Earth 2. Make it make sense, Warner Brothers, please. And get this, WB plans to use the upcoming Flash movie where Barry Allen traverses the multiverse to add clarity to the new status of the Justice League by telling a story featuring two other Batmans. And, and a new Supergirl? You know, we've never seen? Yeah, yeah, that should definitely clear things right on up. Sarcasm. Sarcasm. Now, losing new gods in the trenches is especially crummy because, as you may have noticed, these days DC's films seem to be all about Batman and his family of related characters. Like, even the Flash movie is about Batman instead of, I don't know, the Flash! I mean, don't get me wrong, uh, we love the Bat Fam. And there's no doubt Warner loves raking in Batman box office bucks more than the Wayne Foundation loves letting their CEO embezzle to fund secret bat-shaped vehicle projects. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. But the DC Universe has so many other stories worth telling, and for a moment there, it sounded like WB got it. You know, for fans wanting to see Warners finally realize the full potential of the DC Universe on the big screen, you know, it just feels like a bit of a gut punch to see the new gods get boom-tubed away while Batman gets his own entire universe. Now, this begs the question, what is WB's plan for the main DC Universe? I mean, they said they're not continuing the Snyderverse, so what are they doing? I mean, there are a handful of movies in the works featuring a grab bag of different heroes, but there's no rhyme or reason to what's coming down the main DC Universe pipeline. You know, where is this all going? You know, it's not all leading to a team up to fight Darkseid, that's for sure. You know, as you can see, DC's movie future is super duper confusing. But it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be that way. Just pick a path and, most importantly, let DC fans know which way you're going. If you're going the anything goes slash multiverse route, then show us a wide variety of stories with different lead characters. And if you've got plans to make a cohesive DC universe, show us the roadmap so we can get excited about the journey ahead. Uh, it's just a, a real big shame that you know we won't get to see Granny Goodness hurl her patented brand of creative insults on the big screen. 
Girls, this ninny noodle wants to play rough. Make her last moments special. Oh well. It's hard to say what's next for DC, but we know exactly what Superman actor Henry Cavill is up to. He just wrapped filming on season two of The Witcher. After the show finished production on April 1st, Cavill shared an image on Twitter to celebrate saying, quote, that's a wrap on season two. The White Wolf awaits you back on the continent. Good. Now season two of the hit Netflix series actually started filming in February of last year, but production was brought to a halt due to the pandemic. The disruption caused some problems such as when actor 2 Rasmussen had to drop out of the role of Eskel and was replaced by Basil Eidenbent. But Geralt of Rivia always perseveres and the cast and crew of The Witcher have made it through to the end of season two. I knew he could do it just like I knew he could whip all those dudes in that street fight. The Witcher season two will continue the White Wolf story as he takes Princess Cirilla to his home of Kaer Morhen and probably battles a ton of nasty fantasy monsters along the way. There's no season two premiere date just yet, but at this point, we're just happy that they made it past the finish line. So oil your blades and toss two coins to your witcher. Because you know, it's, it's season two, did you get it? Uh, you know what, I'm not even happy with the way that went. Ha, yeah, uh, moving on. And as production on one video game TV show ends, another begins. It's the circle of life or undeath in this case. Season one of The Last of Us is reportedly set to start production this July in Calgary. Now the news comes from the Directors Guild of Canada where a shoot is scheduled from July 5th, 2021 all the way until June 8th of 2022. Yeah, you heard it right. It'll be in production for 11 months. Alberta Premier Jason Kenney even said it's one of the, if not the largest television productions in Canadian history. And Canada is where, you know, a lot of your favorite shows are made, like The Flash, Supernatural was made there, and Lucifer. So, you know, that's saying a lot. Now, this is just speculation, but the reason for the extra long shoot could be that they're filming two seasons back to back, which would be a good idea for several reasons. I reckon he's got something to do with that girl. <laughs> he's got everything to do with that little girl. One, Ellie actress Bella Ramsey won't age up too much between seasons. Two, the shoot could encompass an actual seasonal change from spring to winter, which The Last of Us fans will remember was pivotal to the atmosphere in the first game. And three, the double dip would make me and a lot of other fans very happy. Don't y'all wanna make us happy, man? Come on now. What other choice do we have? Now, a lot of Sony IP gets stuck in production hell forever. You know, we've been waiting for that Uncharted movie since 2008. So it's music to our ears to hear The Last of Us is getting off to such a strong start. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Is that music or, or is that clicking? I don't know, I don't know, man. You, you, you know what, you, we better wrap this up before someone bites me right exactly here on the side of my neck. Y'all y'all played the game, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and that was your fix of entertainment for today. I'm Akeem Lawanson and thanks for watching. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out our video review of episode three of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Download the IGN app on all your devices. Check out The Fix Entertainment on Snapchat. And for all things everything else, keep it right here on IGN.